Hey, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts, and welcome to the Horror Movie Inspiration Collaboration, hosted by Faith Alfonso. I'll try to put the playlist link down below. Alright, just so you can see where I'm going with this, it's just a little shadow box that I've just made out of scrap boxes. Alright, I'm going to do a little brick texture on this. Alright, I've just got the Tim Holtz um, brick stencil and some DecoArt Media texture sand paste. You can do it with just regular modeling paste, texture paste, whatever you got. Alright, I've got a bit of white Primo again. I'm just going to cut this ball in half, or a little less. Alright, the bigger end, I'm going to make a scarab beetle out of. Alright, I've done this enough times, I know about what a scarab beetle looks like. So I'm going to incise a line up at the top. Then I'm going to go down about a third of the way and do another. Alright, then from there, I'm going to go right down the middle, down to the end, down to almost the end, and then I'm going to do a little V. Alright, that's like his wings. Alright, weirdly enough, scarabs have a couple of little triangles. Alright, then up here at the top. Got a weird little mouth bit. Alright, just something like that. Alright, if you want to get a little more detail, you can... Do a line around the bottom edge. A lot of the more detailed scarabs will have their legs and stuff down there on that bit. Alright? There he is. Cute little scarab beetle. Alright? I'm going to bake him. But before I do that... Alright, now that that's done, I've given it a quick spray with the Van Dyke Sepia. And now I'm just going to let that dry. One of the last things I'm going to do before assembling the project is I'm going to put a coat of resin on this image transfer. But before I do that, I'm just going to paint the edges with a little bit of Burnt Umber Americana paint by DecoArt. not trying to be neat about it in fact I want it kind of not neat Alright, and don't forget the edges. They may not show, but they might, and if they do, you want them covered. Alright, so this is the last step before assembly. I'm just going to mix up some resin, 
some amazing clear cast and put a doming layer on top all right i'm gonna do that and i'll be back tomorrow morning to assemble the piece okay here's the frame that i have put together i just glued a glue piece to the bottom of the pyramid and then i made a couple of triangles to represent more pyramids and put some sand at the bottom added some chain to the hieroglyph piece all right here is the boris karloft image finished that will go somewhere around there with the scroll And then I'm going to print out a mummy, the mummy label to go up at the top. All right, I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. All right, I've just got this Crackle Accents by Ranger. And I'm just going to fill in the center of the letters. I'm not sure if you can see that. If it was flowing a little better, it would be a little easier. But this bottle of Crackle Accents is getting old. Alright, so I'm just going to finish that up and let it dry, and I'll be back. Alright, here it is completely finished fun fun little project for the horror movie inspiration collaboration that I did just using the image that I drew back in 1987 <laughs> for my love of mummy movies all right this was so fun. Super fun collaboration. Thank you so much, Faith Alfonso, for hosting the collaboration. Thank you for everyone else who's going to be on the playlist. You can watch their videos and hop along to everybody else's. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now. I'll try to put some still images after the video.